Hi everyone, welcome to the Dry Camper's next solar installation. This week we are working on a 2020 Grand Design Solitude 380 FLR, which is the front living room setup. This is the before. As you can see, we have quite the wire management task to get accomplished on this front living room model. Because it's a front living room, there are no walls um, above the basement for a lot of the wiring to go to. So they have to run things a little bit differently. From the electrical panel, which is basically straight in front of me, the square box there, um, over going to the left, that is where all of the low voltage wiring goes. It's kind of a split between what goes up to the roof and what goes um, under the coach to the light switches and lights and things like that. I even had, for this one, I even had to move a lot of the ducting and redo its placement as well. Uh, I moved the transfer switch from the floor up onto the wall as you can see it there. Um, the plumbing wasn't really in the way too bad on this one. He had uh, added a fil filtration system that um, in some of the video you can see it off to the right. It's a very tall, there it is right there. Um, that filtration system, I don't know the details on it, but uh, if you want to know that we can put those in the description below. Once the basement wiring started shaping up, I was able to go ahead and proceed on to the lighting. Um, just doing my regular strip lighting with a single switch on the living side of the RV. Um, I used about 12 or 13 feet of lighting in this basement, uh, the way that things turned out. I also, uh, from my Workshop Wednesday video, if you've seen, um, I connect both sides of all the lighting strips to power so that uh, gives you a more guaranteed connection. Uh, once that was completed, then I moved on to uh, rebuilding the steps with the 2x6 and uh, putting in kind of a header under the front of the steps. I wasn't able to tear out a lot of the steps because of the shoe box, as you can see right there in the front of the picture. So I had to butt the header right up against it. This system is going to have six batteries, two multipluses, two MPPTs, 2600 watts of solar. Which unfortunately we don't have the solar footage at this time, so we apologize, but it was just our typical eight 330 watt uh, rec and peak panels. So that's a lot of equipment to fit in a very small space. However, the build out for the batteries, the way it ended up, they could actually add another six batteries um, under the, the header.
The customer is currently remodeling the inside and they removed the back wall behind the recliners for the front living room that faced the TV. I also wanted to point out that the chase for the solar wire coming in, um, just basically how it turned out, uh, all of the low voltage on the left and the electrical on the right.